Hey friends. This is healing. This is healing. I wanted to jump on super quick and uh, just record this video. I've got hair oil in, getting some moisture back in. Um, changing the story about it being hard to hydrate in the winter it's easier in the summer obviously but uh i need the hydration more than i think i realized i made some smoothies for us today and as i'm drinking it it's huge it's like the size of my freaking head but it's so good um the taste immediately took me back to last summer and I've been actively this week healing a lot of shit from that summer. A lot. Um, I had a body talk session the other night with Joanne Wilhelm. And it was incredible. I've been in pain. I've had pain in my collarbone and shoulder and up my neck um, for months. <laughs> Since last May 2021. It's been horrible. Um... And it would get a little bit better and then it would get worse and i was trying oils and chiropractor and energy work and uh what i needed was a body talk session with joanne and i had been listening i'm getting good at listening to my intuition i heard multiple times contact joanne you need to see joanne and it was like, okay, yeah, you know, I'll do that. I'll do that. And then I got busy and I never did it. And then I finally did on the weekend and said, like, I'm in crazy amounts of pain, like crazy amount of pain. I couldn't sleep. Um, and if I did sleep, the only way I could sleep was without a pillow because any misalignment on my neck, it was just horrible, like absolutely horrible. Um, anyway, I had my body talk session and so she pulled up some trapped emotions, which was really cool. One of them is one that I actually pulled up myself the other night with uh, my emotion code book. I've talked about that before. Um, energy work is freaking incredible, incredible. Um, so she picked up on a trapped emotion and cleared it um it was when i was looking back through my journal after that i realized holy shit you picked up on that emotion the night before two nights before two nights before actually so that was really cool um kind of a way of you know reminding myself to trust which my word has changed from january from peace to trust because that's so important in every area of our life especially with ourselves first um yeah so she cleared a few emotions and i could literally as we were doing the treatment as she was doing the treatment um i was here in my space and she was in her space and i put my own hands on my body in like solar um and on my chat on my heart and while she did the energy work there and connected with my energy and it was <sighs> the pain is gone i was able to work out this morning with our weight machine which i love i absolutely love it um so i got to work out with it and i did not overdo it purposely um because it was so the trapped emotion and this, so it all ties together. So the trapped emotion took me back to May, which is when I hurt myself. And it's really interesting because I can remember I was working out. I was really enjoying it. I was finally like gaining strength in my body, which was making me feel really good because a lot of outside, um, outside of me, I guess, is the only way. Yeah. A lot of outside influences in my life at that time were completely uncontrollable. Completely. And so I was using movement and exercise as a way to support myself. 
And in turn, what happened was I brought my frustration into my movement and that emotion got trapped inside of me. And what's really interesting is the word that she picked up on. And at first I did not know what it could mean, especially with, with this. I also had um, some pain come back from an old injury from 20 years ago. Um, an ache in my hand where 20 years ago I was opening my Palm Pilot flashback. And it was the hard, hard, hard plastic which scissors, you know, they don't do anything because you try to cut with them and they go sideways. And so I pulled out a knife and I unfortunately stabbed myself here. And for years, it took years to heal. Um, it's been hard to grip. So this, for example, I could not grip this with my left hand for a long time. Um, it's been healing, but for whatever, well, not for whatever, there was trap, trapped emotions that came to the surface um, over the past couple months. And yeah, it's really interesting. She cleared that, cleared this, and I could feel it letting go. For a very long time, I would stand up and I felt tilted to the right. I felt like this, like being pulled down in a very big way. And then it really physically began to pull big time. And so I was in a lot of pain. This, this session was incredible. I do plan on doing another one, um, either, probably in a few weeks, I'm thinking, just more for maintenance. Um, like holistic health, it's freaking transformational, but it's also, it's not magic either, right? Like it's, it's you living an empowered, healthy life. So for me, like today has been an incredible day. Absolutely incredible. I started my day in my journal, which I love. If you have not seen it, you definitely need to check it out. I'm going to grab one and show you. Rise and Rest journal. I love it. It is a thick, thick, book which I also kind of love um full year so 366 days so when there's the leap year you've got the page in here you've got um starting the month off with intentions goals and dreams begin month personal goals dream drop and then at the end of the month so there's four pages for each month at the end of the month you've got uh, end of month reflection some questions you can ask. You can also mark down. Um, so if you're into personal development exercise, I've put a spot in here for your weight, movement, and measurements. Um, for me, when I was making that transition last year, it was really important because when you're when you're in your own body, you don't necessarily see the changes happening. So it was when taking pictures and marking down my measurements that it was and feeling good, you know, then you feel, you feel and see things happening. And it just, it's helps for me, it helped kind of accelerate it. Um, mental health check-in. That's so fucking important these days, especially the last two years. Am I sleeping? Am I hydrated? Am I meditating? Have I been enjoying hobbies? Do I feel overwhelmed? Do I have any worries? Am I procrastinating anything in daily self-care? Then you've got the daily pages. So there's 366 pages of these. Date. If you love oils and cards like I do, there's a spot at the top for the oil of the day. Um, the emotion of that oil, because that is, I love, I'm kind of, I guess I've been basing my health on the emotional uses of the oils. It's been really transformational. Card pull. Um... And then I feel my best when I start my day. For a while, I was thinking, you have to do it a certain way. It has to be like this every day. Get up at this time, do this, do this, do this. Fuck no. 
follow your intuition. 100%. Follow your intuition. And I will say your intuition. Oh, I can't pick it. I was going to grab my phone, but I'm recording with my phone. 100% listen to your intuition. If you're scrolling and your brain says stop, listen and put it down. I'm getting better at doing that. Um, I'm grateful for my intentions for the day are, I am, and then a couple for my wins and losses of the day, evening forgiveness, which is really important, even if it's yourself, even if it's yourself, you come home, you do not feel like cooking a big meal for your family. So be it. I'm sure you can think of something nutritious breakfast for dinner. My husband and I had, we made up some fries in the air fryer and we had some ground beef. We always have ground beef in the fridge, it seems, because it's a favorite with our family. Um, we threw that in, made a gravy with a beef bone broth, which is another new favorite of ours. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. And when you add it in, you're adding in protein, which we're loving. Um, so yeah, it's been... It's been transformational. It has. So I threw a mine all, like we both had a bowl and then we each put on whatever toppings. And since we can't have cow's dairy anymore and feel so much better not, um, we have goat cheese, read the label. There's a lot of um, commercially sold goat cheese, like in grocery stores that all contain milk. Very sneaky, not cool. Um, the other thing is bedtime diffuser blend, which is awesome. I've been loving looking back and seeing my day and I don't do this often, actually my day and the diffuser blend. It's been fun to see. There's usually a pattern and the diffuser blend hundred percent intuitive, hundred percent. Sometimes it could be like eight oils, a drop of each. Other nights it might be one. Hygge, if, if, I don't know if that's how you say it, but H-Y-G-G-E, one of doTERRA's newest blends, um, on its own is fucking fantabulous. It is amazing. So yeah, so this is the journal. And then at the very back, there's just some blank pages. So if you want to put in like quotes or whatever, um, maybe in diffuser blends, that would be cool. So along with healing, I know I kind of went off track, taking it back to this. Last summer, we had them on the deck pretty much every day because my husband was home from the middle of May until, and it's, it's a trigger. Wow. Even just talking about it, I have a wee, 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 wee little twang of pain here. So. You have to feel to heal. And I know this is getting a bit long, but you really do have to feel to heal. By pushing down the emotions and not feeling them, it's, it's going to cause phys physical ailments like this, which it did in my body. Bring it to the surface. So one word she thought of, or she picked up on during my treatment was intimidated. And at first I could not figure out where that emotion would be coming from at all. And then it hit me. I know exactly where it was coming from. Unfortunately with my husband's health, um, I've had experience with my health where I've had to step up and I've had to speak out for myself. In this instance, it was for my husband. I was still, I still hadn't properly dealt with the emotions of him falling off the roof. Getting that phone call, having the visual in my mind, which I, that visual, the visual of me arriving there to see him um, was much better than what was in my mind, thank God, because our minds can really fuck with us and really play tricks on us in a really bad way. But I saw his leg, 
If anyone knows me, I'm like intensely squeamish with shit like that. And <laughs> when you're in a situation like it's holy shit, you just anyway. So back to the hospital, I had to literally so back then. So this this emotion was actually implanted well before May, because back in October when he fell, I had to literally fight, not physically, but I had to literally fight to be able to see my husband because of the fucking rules that were put in place in the hospitals for our safety. We're releasing because I'm feeling I'm feeling a tightness as I'm talking about this. So it's a, it's fine. It shows the importance of clearing this out. Because it's very, very important. And this is one reason why I have been so adamant over the past year and a half of empowered healthcare. Empowered. It is so important. You have to speak up for you. You have to speak up for your loved ones. When you know something is wrong, speak the fuck up. If you don't, that's just a form of pushing down, pushing down, pushing down, because you know the truth. Your intuition is telling you differently. My intuition was screaming at me as I'm sitting in the hallway in the hospital, bawling because they would not let me see my husband. I came to the hospital with him and they would not let me see my, hus my husband. We live together. They would not let me see my husband because that was not safe. I told them I was not leaving that hospital until I could see him before he was being sent for surgery. And I knew the city hospital, there's no fucking way they were going to have compassion and let me in. I had to see him before he left. I had to know I'm an empath. I had to know what was happening. I had to speak to the fucking doctor. My husband's in shock laying there. I had to. Every medical professional that day went out of their way, except one, to intimidate me. The doctor, the doctor finally had compassion and said, I negotiated, I negotiated so that you could come in and see your husband. My husband had a tragic accident. That could have been so much worse and thank God it was not. The doctor had to negotiate for me to be allowed to see him. Is that right? No. May, more intimidation because sadly, he had something go wrong. He was experiencing a lot of pain. And finally it became so bad, he went to the hospital. And this is where this is gonna tie in. So go to the hospital. And <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really pulling now. <sighs> go to the hospital. And he comes back and tells me that he's told, the doctor told him he's doing too much to get this prescription filled for anti-inflammatories and go home and put your foot up for a week. You've been overworking it. My husband requested an x-ray first when he first got there. So they did the x-ray. You're fine. You're fine. I am so glad I trust my intuition because as soon as he told me that, I said, no fucking way. There is something seriously wrong. I could see by the way he was walking. He was kind of walking on a tilt on that, like on the right leg. Something was seriously wrong and I knew something was seriously wrong. So I called the surgeon's office. They were closed. Fine. That's fine. 
they called me back on, I think it was the Wednesday, and said they had an appointment for the following Wednesday. So a week later. That was better than nothing because the other doctor had said there was nothing wrong. And yet he was still in crazy amounts of pain. He took the anti-inflammatories for two days. One and a half, actually. And then said to me, no, something's wrong. Which I already I knew something was wrong. So it was a week. It was a week. He gets a phone call. Has anyone followed up with you from your x-ray from Monday? The following Monday? Yeah, the metal's broken your leg. So we began preparing ourselves for the appointment on Wednesday. I had been previously told that when I booked the appointment, she said, you won't be able to come in with them. At that point, I had said, fine. We get the call on Monday. <sighs> we get the call on Monday. And so we go to the office on Wednesday. Thank God we had the appointment um, for him. And the receptionist. Not one ounce of compassion that day. Not one ounce. Was refusing to let me in with him, which I did not accept. I stood there beside my husband waiting because everyone is entitled to having a loved one with them at an appointment, especially, especially when it's a serious appointment. Um, Especially when it has to do with your health. Like, I'm, I'm straight up disgusted with our government. Straight up disgusted. Telling people that you can't have someone in with you. <sighs> they don't care about our health. They don't. If anything, for that one simple thing. Thankfully, the surgeon had major amounts of compassion. Thank God. So we had prepared ourselves for he's going to have to have surgery again and the metal's going to have to come out. Because at that point, we did not know the bone had broke and moved. This is a long story, but obviously I need to release. And I'm going to share this. Because this is the importance of not pushing your emotions down. When you push your emotions down, it physically does affect your body in a big, big way. I can attest to this. <laughs> so we find out it will not be a simple surgery. It will not be just going in and taking out the metal. It will be going in, taking out the metal, straightening the bone again. There was, there was two screws touching. Like when I say, Oh, it was, it was a really, really hard time. It was a really hard time for him physically and emotionally. And for me in a fucking huge way, emotionally huge, which then resulted in physically hurting myself and pinch nerve in my back. Um, that's what the body talk session released the pinch nerve in my back and brought more circulation, healing. Um, he had to have surgery. He was going to have to have a piece of bone taking off, taken off his hip to put into his ankle um, for the bone marrow. And the surgery did not go as it was supposed to. He then came home and was on antibiotics for over six weeks. It was another two weeks when he finally had the surgery and I had to, and I'm not lying, I had to call and call and call 
and call to get a date. As we knew the year anniversary was looming coming up in October. So all summer, we drank the shakes. And I'm so fucking grateful because I know my husband shifting his nutrition helped his body heal in a big way. When he fell, it was over 24 hours before he had surgery. It was a really, 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 really bad break. A lot of trauma physically and mentally. Um, it just was not good. So come May, my life is feeling even more out of control. The shit show that's happening with kids. I don't even know if they were in school or if they weren't in school then were or weren't. I have no fucking idea. I do remember in October, it wasn't long. I don't even remember if the kids were home before his accident or after. I'm pretty sure it was after because I don't think I came home and told them. I think I waited till they got home. Um, but it wasn't long after that they were home for quite a while and it actually, the stress on me. So if we back it up to March, 2020, the stress and guilt on me was intense. I still had my job to work and my children were home. I think you're going to find, I've already found, there's a fuck of a lot of moms diving deep, like really fucking deep, really deep. And many of us that are diving so deep have already been on the healing journey for a while. Like I have been since 2014. There was a period in my life that it was just pure shit. And I decided to take control enough. I know my body best and that's how I've been leading my life since. And I am so grateful to have found this holistic lifestyle because it literally has been life changing in so many ways for our entire family. So this has been a lot, a lot longer than what I thought, but I needed to release this and I needed to share this because it's important. It's important for everyone to know. When you feel, you heal. When you don't, when you keep pushing it down and pushing it down and pushing it down, that's when you're going to be totally out of alignment, completely, completely misaligned. Perhaps not sleeping, you might gain weight. I. Let's just, speaking from a, real life, not sleeping, not eating properly, digestive issues like crazy, headaches, um, not happy. My husband and I bickering all the time. Like that's not life. That's not, I can feel my shoulders drooping even more just as I'm releasing all this. Like we, I am so impressed. I'm so impressed with my husband. I have not once forced any healing on him. I offer Reiki. I offer, like we use the oils. Obviously I put the oils in the diffuser. It's not something, the best way to explain it is pushing a rope. How does, how well does that work for you? It really, it, <laughs> it doesn't. Unless it's a very rigid rope or pushing an elastic. I've got an elastic here. Like, can you push an elastic? No, it's, it's individual. And the experience that I've had with his accident will be, I, I won't say completely different because it won't be completely different. There are some very much, there's some similarities for sure. Like anxiety triggering, depression. Depression triggering, huge, 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 huge. 
especially within the, these two years. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's, it's been a journey, but it's one that oh, I share about because it's so important. So, so, so important. Feel your emotions. And this is why, honest to God, this is why I created this journal because I needed something to help me on my healing journey. I wanted something that was for me, for me, not in my planner, for me. So if I take my planner somewhere, I don't have to worry about like my, this is just for me, just for me. So it's meant to be, you know, on your bedside table. It's not meant to leave your house unless you go away. It is for you, not a planner. It is 100% for you. And as soon as I had it in my hands, I was like, everyone needs this every day. It's just, it's so good. It's so good to heal, release evening forgiveness. Oh my God. Even just for yourself. I forgive myself today. I had a, this is going to demonstrate the healing that I have accomplished thus far. And, and let me just be clear, like the healing it's it's ongoing. It's forever ongoing, always ongoing. And I had someone that was extremely rude to me yesterday. Extremely. And all I could think in my mind was I send you blessings. Like this man was just downright mean and rude. And it helped me realize there was someone like that in my life many years ago. He and his family talked to me like that a lot. Words can be like daggers. <sighs> Have you ever done a cord cutting meditation? I highly recommend it. And while you're doing it, the one that Avalon did for us the other day. Oh, fuck. One thing I had never envisioned while doing a cord cutting meditation, and this is why I'm going to mention it, and then we're going to end it soon. When you're doing a cord cutting meditation, don't just think of where you can see cords, see like looking down your body. Okay. That's what I used to do. Think of your back. When I thought of that, all I could see was dense, dense, dense energy. And I also helped get rid of that this week too. Time to rise up, my friends, and we're going to do it together. The energy is fucking fantabulous right now. COVID aside, fuck that shit. <laughs> no, that aside. Make this about you, my friends. Much love.